It's easy to look on the downside during this pandemic. However, reporter Libby Ashoff shows us the impact the COVID-19 outbreak has had on her family, while reminding us that life is too short not to look on the bright side and to have a little fun. What have you heard created the virus? Um, I heard someone uh, pulled an Ozzy Osbourne and bit the head off a bat and then uh, spit it back out in the crowd. I heard it was created by the I don't think it's true, I think it was the in March of 2020, a virus called COVID-19 quickly became a global pandemic, forcing students and workers to be sent home to quarantine and practice social distancing. The CDC defines social distancing as the act of taking certain precautions to prevent exposure to COVID-19. What is the best way to social distance? Okay. Stay away from crowds, so no more than 10 people uh, together in any one place. Uh, okay. If you're going to go shopping, shop by yourself once a week. Some people wearing masks. Um, you're supposed to be social distancing, so everyone's supposed to be six feet apart from each other. <laughs> Do you think the response to the pandemic is absurd or appropriate, and why? Well, the pandemic certainly seems to be very contagious, and so especially for those immunocompromised people, I think the uh, response to the pandemic has been reasonable. I certainly hate to see it spread, and so we're gonna do everything in our power, certainly, to flatten that curve. What are your best social distancing tips? Um, get a hobby. Well, I like to uh, just scream at people, like, get away from me. And I like to uh, I throw my hands straight out and start twirling around and yelling, unclean, 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 and people seem to scatter. That works really well for me. Or um, apply at NASA, something fun to do. You know, they always say, if you aim high and you miss, you'll still end up among the stars. That doesn't apply to NASA, though. You'd probably be like a, like a janitor or something. Probably not in the stars. <laughs> Like, janitors are still heroes, though, but you're just not going to be an astronaut. Luckily, the CDC has some better ways to prevent exposure to the virus. Washing and sanitizing your hands thoroughly and often, avoiding close contact with other people, or even just covering your mouth while you cough or sneeze. So how has this virus affected everyday life? Seniors aren't able to do, you know, state speech, state track, graduations, proms, all that kind of stuff. People have to stay home, and when people are forced to stay home, then they can think of all the things that they would rather do. The gas prices are like purge low. I feel like I'm stealing. I just want to go loot a store. What are the pros and cons to having online classes? Is that sanitized? <laughs> 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 you want to answer my question? <laughs> well, we have all of our family back at home, so that's really great. It has certainly affected our food bill. Sorry, that's my fault. I'll start with the cons so that we end on a positive note. The cons is most of it, to be honest. <laughs> I don't learn as well, but the assignments have sort of been doubled since it's like, oh, you got free time, right? Don't get to see my instructors at all. I mean, I see them through their lecture videos, but that's about it. And I really like every single one of my instructors. There is a pro, which is that most of the assignments and homework is posted like on Monday up for the week. It's nice to be able to structure my week how I want to, I guess. Uh, well, on top of the weirdness and, the, and my craziness of my personality, um, it's also being compounded <coughs> by the uh, paranoia, the fear, the sadness. And finally, what kind of fun activities can we do during quarantine to combat boredom? Well, I think one thing you can do is rock out. <laughs> you guys want some bread? Hoagie uh, one. Pass. Thanks. You're lost. I like to go outside, enjoy the, the Nebraska sun, the spring, <laughs> springtime. Mid-April in Nebraska. I like to go frolic in the fields. Lay in the grass. 
on a quilt. Just do some sidewalk chalk. Brings out my uh, my artistic side. Spend some good family time together. Um, board games or cards or catch up on movies. Remember to stay home, stay healthy, and have faith. This is Libby Ashoff reporting for Monarch TV.